You can't open that without a key. I know. Are you really gonna return it? Yes, I am. You got a problem with that? Nope. You saw what happened in Nordopolica. This thing made it so I couldn't control my magic. The clear CL crystal inside this box interferes with air somehow. Interferes with air? How could a tiny box like this do something like that? I don't know. That's why I wish I could open this box somehow. There's a good chance that we'd be able to find a key for the box in Jormgen. For me, this doesn't have anything to do with Estelle wanting to return it anymore. So then you're gonna look for the town of Jormgen that was mentioned in that diary? Yes, if I can. If you can? I can't leave Estelle behind. Sure you can, if you want to. I'd like to leave her behind, but... I... <clears throat> I've never had a problem like this before. Why? She couldn't be serious about going alone into the desert. Could she? Oh, where are you off to? Nowhere in particular, just going on about you. Where were you going? I just wanted to get a look at the desert terrain we were going to be headed into next. It's good to be prepared. So it was hot. Well, I assumed as much. But, it wasn't as hot as I thought it'd be. Hmm, well, okay. Right. That'd be nice. Oh well, I guess... <sighs> What? You want to go out and check for yourself? No, that's okay. If we head out to look for him, we gather. Oh, I see. Why the long face? Is the desert really as dangerous as they say? I don't think Rita would joke around with such a serious look on her face. Yeah, I guess not. I've dragged all of you all the way out here. You should stop worrying about all of us. Huh? I mean, we're just doing what we feel like doing. But what about you? What do you want to do? M me? You were saying that you need to figure out who you are, weren't you? Yes, that's true, but... Estelle, you're Brave Vesperia's client. If you tell us to go somewhere, we'll go there. And if you tell us to go for you, we'll find Pharaoh and drag him back here. Yuri... There's no need to rush to give me an answer. Take your time.
You're still here? What? Were you feeling lonely and came to find me? Isn't the reason that you've been wandering around here because you're the one who's lonely and wanted to see me? You got me. Now marry me. I'll consider it when you're an adult. Ah, there you are. Who are you? Uh, just an acquaintance of hers. He's my husband. Well, whatever. I got the info about the Maristella that you wanted. I appreciate that. But first, is it true that you're Eifried's granddaughter? Huh? It's a rumor I heard. Is it true? Hmm. So it is true. If that's the case, then I can't give this to you. If it gets out that I did business with the granddaughter of a guy who broke the guild's rules, no one will trust me. I freed is. I don't know about you, but for those of us who live in the world of the guilds, he is the most unforgivable guy out there. I can't afford to be involved with someone going around claiming to be one of his relatives. So don't you show your face in front of any of us ever again. And if you pull anything on any of the members of my guild out of resentment, we're not gonna take it lying down. I can guarantee you you'll regret it if you think that World Cellar is no more than a map-making guild. But I'd never do anything like that. Oh, really? In any case, the blood of a coward who would attack ships while feigning to protect them runs through your veins. I can't even begin to guess what's running through your head. Mm. And as for you, I don't know if you're really her husband, but I'd suggest steering clear of this one. So you just take it all in silence, huh? know whether he's actually my grandfather and what actually happened in that massacre. I don't know what's true and what's a lie, whether he was a villain or a saint. All I know is that my grandfather was very important to me. That is why I can neither admit or deny what people say. So you don't even know who you are yourself, huh? I know that much at least. Then wasn't there something you could have said? It's okay. I'm used to people saying all sorts of things about my grandfather. I don't care about any of that nonsense. I'll just keep searching for treasure in my own way. putting on a pretty tough act. You better not start crying once you're all on your own. Would crying get me? You see, my motto is, no matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. Well, I guess it's really none of my business. Still, it's not like you can go treasure hunting without any clues. Oh, don't worry. I've got clues. Later! Sorry to have dragged you all the way out here. Mm. 
Whoa, what's with that face? Hearing you apologize like that puts me a little bit on edge is all. I mean, you still have to deliver that letter to Bellius, right? Yeah, but if I can't see her until the new moon, then that's that, ain't it? Till then, I'm at the mercy of the princess's whims. Well, well, aren't you easygoing? You sure about that? Nah, I'm used to being yelled at. In fact, it ain't like we're gonna run out of new moons anytime soon. You certainly sound patient. You sure about this? Of course. Patience is something you'll learn with age. Ugh, I swear. Well, making the right decisions is part of being an adult, too. I'll leave as soon as I feel like I have to. Anyway, let me travel with you kids for a while longer. Sure, whatever you want. I feel like my world is crashing down around me. I can't believe Ruin's Gate was secretly selling weapons. And that they were smuggling them illegally out of Ruin's. Sometimes you have to have shadow where there's light, I guess. That's so sad, though. Well, you don't need to worry about those guys. Just keep living your life the way you know is right. Lead brave Vesperia to victory with pride. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we need to worry about Pharaoh for now. Yeah, we finally made it into the desert. It feels like we're almost there. Hey, once we're done with this commission, you think we could go back to Dongress for a bit? Let's wait until we've wrapped up our current job to talk about that. Oh, yeah, sure. for you. Huh? What's going on, Estelle? What's this? This is payment for your services. I'm sure you'll be able to sell it for quite a sum. I want to thank you all for everything you've done. I'm afraid I must take my leave from you here. Take your leave? What are you gonna do? You're not thinking of going alone, are you? My desire to meet Pharaoh is a personal one. Are you crazy? That's way too dangerous! Which is why I must go alone. 
I won't have the rest of you caught up any further in my own selfish quest. Do justice and punish the unjust. Huh? Oh, right. That's one of the laws of our guild. There's no justice in letting Estelle march into the heart of the desert all by herself. I don't think I have it in me to break our laws. How about you, Carol? Right! It seems those are the rules. I'm terribly flattered, really, but I'm afraid I can't let you. Estelle, wait! Have you all lost your marbles? We're talking about a force of nature here. Which is why we're all going together. I'll admit I'm a little scared, but I can't just let Estelle go off like that. You! You talk some sense into them! If I start whining now, I'll have to go all the way back to Nordopolica by myself, right? That's no fun. There's no reasoning with any of you! Are you sure you're dead set on this? Yes. I've thought a lot about this. You all have something that's important to you. A goal you give everything to achieve. I realized that I didn't have anything like that for myself. And I knew I had to find a purpose of my own, something I can dedicate myself to. I made the decision to begin this journey, and I have to finish what I've started. This... this is something I have to do myself. Okay, okay, you win. So we'll be aiming for the desert center. Huh? Hey, I tried talking sense into you idiots. Rita. There's actually no real need for you to come, Rita. You've got your air credit research to worry about, don't you? There's no telling what you idiots will get into if I don't keep an eye on you. The air crene isn't going anywhere. I'll go check up on it later. But... We're not leaving until we've taken care of all our preparations. I'm sorry to be such an inconvenience to you all. I think we had a pretty good idea things would turn out like this from the start. Thank you. Huh? Where's Judith? Everything settled? Yeah. Well, what did you decide? We're going to the center of the desert. I had a feeling, so I've made some arrangements. The innkeeper has agreed to help us. We'll want to be good and rested before we leave this town behind, that's for sure. Always thinking about your next nap, aren't you? Yeah, but I sleep so much better if I have a little company. I 
wonder what Pharaoh will do. Why would someone set up a barrier in a place like this? Actually, they discovered the Blastia at the bottom of the oasis and have just been using it as is. A nice person in town told me that. And with it sunk in the oasis, no one could move it. They had to leave it where it was. One would trudge out into a scorching wasteland like this just to set up a barrier. Ah, oh, that explains it. Guess there's a reason for everything. stay the night here? Hello! Welcome to the Desert Oasis Mantake. What's with this night? Well, um... <sighs> will... will you be staying the night? Yeah, we're going into the desert, so we came into town to gather provisions and get some rest first. Oh, so it's you who wanted provisions for going into the desert. You know, it's... We know it's dangerous. see. In that case, I'll get your provisions together before you set out. Your stay will cost 400 gold. Is that okay? Have a nice day. This town kind of gives me the creeps. All these knights stick out like sore thumbs. Anyway, time to get some sleep. Sleepy times! But man, I just can't relax with the knight standing out at the entrance. It bothers you? Yeah, it does. If they're here to protect us, there ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? All right, everyone, let's get some sleep. Yeah, thanks for the help. Um, I don't know your reasons for going out into the desert, but it would really be a good idea for you to stay in town. Thanks. We've already put a lot of thought into it. I see. Well, as I promised. Our canteens are this small? Looks like enough to me. Yeah, we should be able to get more water from certain types of cacti growing in the desert. Right. If we use them to fill beans whenever we need more water, we should be fine. You sure know a lot. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. It's the least I could do. I'm giving that to you, so don't hesitate to use it as much as you like. Go out and turn right where the road forks. You'll find a lake at the end of the road. You'll be able to fill up your canteens there. Gotcha. By the way, what was with the knight who was here? He was guarding me all night. I was so nervous. One lie after another. Supervisor, the knights are here to make sure that townspeople don't talk freely to visitors from outside of town. Why would they do something like that? I don't understand the reasons, but it's on the magistrate's orders. People other than merchants like myself aren't allowed out of their houses. I see. 
That's why we didn't see any townspeople outside. I wonder if there's a crooked magistrate here too. There was no magistrate in this town until recently, and then finally he arrived. Really? Yes. The Imperial Knights have started to move into Nordapolica of late. It seems they may have already gone into arrest Bellius. The appointment of a new Imperial Magistrate to our town seems to be related to that as well. The Imperial Knights are going to arrest Bellius? They say that Bellius had something to do with engineering the Great War behind the scenes. Bellius did that? That's what they're saying in town. Well, I don't think the Empire will be able to do much so long as Palestrale is there, but... <laughs> Thank you very much for your business. But... Yeah, thanks for the help. Let's go fill up at the lake. Oh, my heart! Whoa, whoa, are you okay, old man? It's just, the sound of money gets this old heart racing. Stop that jingling, would you, Carol? Huh? All right, whatever. I can't believe how much gold we have! I bet it would feel great to spend all this gold at once. No way! We still need to save lots more! Ah, sounds like you've got plans for the future, kid. Saving for a hideout for brave Vesperia? No, I wasn't thinking of that. It's just that saving lots of money feels... good, you know? You know what they call that, kid? Penny pinching. That's what. There's no use hoarding your money for later. You gotta spend it all at once. Go wild! No, no, that's even worse. You kids have got no sense of moderation. All right, old man, then what do you think we should do with it? Just invest it in Old Raven. My secret guild knowledge will give you back a hundred times as much. Pass. to go. Right. Stop it! Let go! Bad boys and girls that break curfew must be punished by the magistrate. No way! We're going to look for mommy and daddy! Leave these children to me. I'll see that they're properly disciplined. Stay out of this, stranger. Please, forgive these children. I will go and apologize in person to the Magistrate on their behalf. Hey... Wait, aren't you... My deepest apologies! Do you think that maybe... I could have handled that better? Hey, it worked, didn't it? Thanks for saving us from those bad guys. What are your names? My name's Alf. My sister's Layla. What happened to your mom and dad? They got taken into the desert in the Magistrate's big wagon. Someone told me they're going to look for Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Yeah. What do you think they're planning on doing once they find him? And using the townspeople to do their dirty work? It's despicable. Hey, big bro! Are we gonna go look for mommy and daddy? No, you're not. 
If you kids go into the desert, you'll die for sure. <laughs> Judith! We'll look for your parents. You kids can't go out into the desert. Really? I don't lie. You don't mind, do you, Carol? Nope. Fine by me. You're surprisingly agreeable. His guild is guided by justice, after all. Thanks, everyone! Here, take this, cause you're so nice. A glass bead? It's a precious gem. It's our reward for taking the job. Now that we've gotten paid in advance, we've got our work cut out for us, don't we, Carol? Yeah, you're right. But what concerns me is that the Empire is investigating Pharaoh. This town's only on the edge of the desert, but the heat's still got my head spinning. Youngsters these days got no stamina, I tell ya. <sighs> Whoa! No comeback from Rita. It's hot. It's so hot. I think she's so hot she didn't even hear him. Yuri? What's the... About what the Magistrate here could be planning. It's so strange that he'd be looking for Pharaoh. Though I guess it makes sense if the Empire wanted to eliminate a monster that was trying to kill the Princess. But they don't know that he's after Estelle yet, do they? So why are they going after him then? How should I know? And we still don't know why there's a curfew in the town. Anyway, first we should go to the Sands of Kagor. Right. We can look into the mysteries of this town once we come back. If we don't rescue those kids' parents soon, they'll keel over in this heat. That's true. So then, to get to the middle of the desert, we should go through here, right? Yes. I think the parents of those children were probably taken this way, too. All right. Let's go. There's no shade anywhere. I never imagined it would be this hot. Nobody lasts long out here without the proper supplies. What's with him? He looks like he's out for a walk in the park. Hey, old man. Aren't you hot? Hot? Uh, heck yeah. Uh, I'm sizzling over here. Uh, burning right up. That lousy... I feel like the temperature goes up every time somebody says the word hot. We'll be fine, so long as we remember to keep our water well stocked. Right, the cacti. The parents of those children are out there with no supplies whatsoever. We do have Pharaoh to look for, but... Yes. Would it be alright if we took care of Alf and Layla's request first? Um, but... You've more than fulfilled your obligation to me. Estelle! Okay then, let's find their parents. Was that Pharaoh? Then he really is somewhere in the desert! Settle down. You'll get plenty of attention once we're done helping those kids.
We keep going and going, but all we get is more sand and more blue sky. You're doing better than me if you can look at the sky, Raven. The only thing I see is sand. How come an old fart like you has so much energy anyway? Talking's only gonna wear you out. If one of us goes down, it'd be about all we could manage to get them back to safety. And I, for one, am in no mood to be giving out piggyback rides. If I collapse, Raven, you can carry me. Sorry, but this back's reserved for ladies only. I'll die before I collapse. I won't let myself be a burden either. The same goes for me, of course. Hey, there's no reason to go stomping on an old man's feelings, is there? You'll be gone soon enough. Dragon Swarm! Come on, let have it! That's enough! I got no time to think. Just beat him senseless and you'll win. Let's fill up our water here. But this is... Ow! Ouch! What an idiot. Use your head a little. Looks like this situation calls for a little extra help. Canteen filling time. Me next! We need to make sure to keep hydrated. We wouldn't want to get sunstroke. If everyone's finished, let's go. Don't get sloppy! We're done. Pretty good. Stop plodding along like a zombie, or you'll only make yourself more tired. How are you in such good spirits? Some people take pleasure in the suffering of others. Why, I oughta. Don't waste your energy. That sort of happiness simply isn't healthy. Hey, did you hear a voice? No, not at all. By the way, why were you in this desert before? I used to live in a town up in the mountains to the north of here, together with my friend Ba'ul. So, I sometimes came down near the desert. All the way to the desert? Anyway, we hardly have time to look for anything out here. What with this heat? Seriously, if we run out of water, we'll be goners. We need to find something like a clue soon. Yes, 
Yes. drinking all of it thanks Yuri hey do you think we could take five and you say I'm the one always wanting to rest yeah! <laughs> huh the heat's gone and baked his brains water oh Carol be careful you'll hurt yourself if you fall <laughs> Looks like he still had plenty of energy. Wait up for old Raven! And here I thought they couldn't bear to go another step. Oh, I think I'm in heaven. I thought we were really done for. Hey now, you gotta be tougher than that if you're gonna save the world, kids. Shut up! It'll be dangerous if we just keep going like this. If we turn back now, though, we'll only disappoint those poor children. We've got to keep looking as long as we can. If we're lucky, we may even find Pharaoh along the way. That's right. And with this spring, we shouldn't have any trouble keeping up the search. If you've already eaten the poison, you may as well lick the plate. Yeah, you're right. We've come this far. How about your water bottle, Carol? Did you fill it up? Here. I filled them for you. Here's yours, Rita. Thanks, Judith! Thanks. Everybody else all set? Yes. All right, let's keep moving. Destroy them in no time! Easy!
Watch out. This one's tough. Let's go. Ooh, that's nice. Good work. Yeah, get some rest. You did well. Who are you talking to, Carol? Ah! Ah! Don't startle me like that! I I'm sorry. Did you hear that just now? Yeah, we heard it. You talk to your sword? It cuts better when I do that. Actually, we just won this battle because I gave my sword lots of encouragement before. Really? Whatever floats your boat. Well, that was unexpected. What? Nothing. Thank you for all the work you do. We can't wait to see how well you perform next time. It must be tough having such an unreliable owner. You're the only one we can count on. Um, uh, good luck next time. Wow, thanks, guys! I'll bet my attack power will double in the next battle! Don't Ugh. get carried away! Leave it to me! What the? What are you doing, old man? Uh, you see, I was thinking that there's a pretty odd creature over there. Huh? What is that? Ah! It's Yuri! I thought I was gonna have a heart attack there. That's my line. They don't tell me you're searching for treasure in the sand. What's this? A treasure that I freed hid. This chest? I'm surprised you were able to find treasure in the sand. An adventurer's intuition is even sharper than the right side of a dolphin's brain. Intuition? <laughs> oh, but you can't make light of intuition. Seriously? Is that the treasure you're looking for? Nah, this is just rubbish. Besides, finding treasure isn't my goal. It's recovering your memory, isn't it? I. And in order to do that, I need to find me grandfather's treasure, the Maristella. Yeah? You still haven't recovered your memory yet? Hmm. Unfortunately, no. But my journey's only just beginning. She sure recovers quickly. I like that about her. Really? I'm like that too, you know? Hey, if we keep chatting out here, we're gonna keel over. Definitely. Patty, why don't you come with us too? Hmm, but I need to keep hunting for treasure. Shut up and just come with us, all right? Alf and Layla's parents don't seem to be anywhere. And with the desert as brutal as all this, odds are they're not holding up too well. Thanks, old man. This hot-as-hell desert was missing a looming sense of dread. 
how could Kimura just abandon people out here because they got on his nerves? Seriously, let's hurry up and find those kids' parents while we still have some strength left. Right. Let's go. Uh, are you okay? Uh, uh, it, it's you. Do you feel better now? Uh, uh, my wife. Where's my wife? You mean this woman? She's right here. Please, hold still. Oh, water. Oh, oh, I can feel the life coming back into me. Oh, that really hit the spot. Thank you so much. We're alive, thanks to you. You're our saviors. Please, it's nothing. We'll have time to relax once we get you back alive. What's the problem? Things will work themselves out. You're pretty crazy to say that in a situation like this. I'd like to thank you for saving us, but I'm afraid I don't have anything with me that I could give you. Oh, please, we don't need anything like that. No, th that simply won't do. Please, come to Mantake so that I can pay you back for what you've done. Mantake? Wait, are you the parents of Alf and Layla? Y yes, yes we are. Did you see our children back in Mantake? Yes, we met them there. They were worried about their mom and dad. They were even going to come out into the desert to look for you. Oh, this is terrible. We have to go back to them. Don't be so hasty. Do you think you two can go back by yourselves? Well, we... Uh, uh, that is... <sighs> no, I guess we can't. Then just calm down for now. Hi, that's right. Just lie down and relax a bit. Patty, I think that's taking it a little too far. A bird? In this desert? It sounds close. Sounds like it came from just up ahead. So we'll get to meet him. It's about time. I was about to shrivel up in this heat. You two come too. Yes. Make sure to keep a safe distance. You'll want to be out of the way in case a fight breaks out. Y yes, uh, okay. Patty, watch your step. It's dangerous. Whoa! That was a close call. Repeat, you were only warning me. <coughs> Repeat seems to like Patty. Why is that? He just likes kids. He wants youth in them, not gray and stolid. So my age has been the problem. Wait, Patty is certainly young, but that's not everything, right? <coughs> Something isn't right. Be on your guard. That's not Pharaoh! 
Yeah, there's something different about that voice. Using a decoy to sneak up on us? What a cowardly monster! I've never seen a monster like that! That's not a monster. If it's not a monster, what the hell is it? <laughs> Even Rapide's frightened. This can't be good. Let's get out of here! It's coming this way! Damn. Looks like we have no choice. Out of the way, you two! What is this? This thing. I don't want to deal with it if we don't have to. Come on, guys. Fight. I guess we have no choice. I found your weak spot. I guess we got it, but... Oh, I'm so tired. Come on, snap out of it. It vanished. What's this? Uh, I can't go on. Rita? Carol! The more simmering, dizzying heat and grilling mollusks. I'm afraid even I can't take any more. This isn't good. What? A... a town? That dragon from the Weezand of Kados. <laughs> Go ahead. Hope you choke... on my bones. We collapsed in the desert, and this can't be heaven. Where are we? Good morning. Don't you want a morning kiss? Oh, Yuri. Are you feeling better now? Yeah. How about you guys? Are you alright? Yes, it would seem that way. We all collapsed in the desert, right? 
So what are we doing in this town? Seems like someone came to our aid. Though we're not sure who. I wonder what kind of praiseworthy fellow could cross such a toasty desert and save so many people. We need to find whoever it was and thank them. What about the couple who was with us? They appear to have been brought here as well. So they didn't get a look at our rescuers either? Apparently they lost consciousness like the rest of us. I believe the two of them are having a look around town. I wonder, was it just a mirage? What do you mean? Oh, just before I blacked out, I saw that dragon that got the air under control back at Kados. Really? Yeah. Didn't you see it, Estelle? No, I didn't see anything. Then that monster must have saved us or something. A monster saved us? Was it just a mirage then? So, what's the story? Where exactly are we? A kindly gentleman is looking into that very matter for us. Kindly gentle? Oh, you mean the old man. There's no barrier here. This town is weird. I thought the mountains in the east were supposed to be uninhabited. Rita, Carol, over here! What's that? The monster that attacked us in the desert dropped it. I didn't see any feathers on that thing. That's one of Pharaoh's feathers. monster have one of Pharaoh's feathers. Hmm. Man, there's so much we don't know. Welcome back. And just why was it up to me to go tromping off on a recon mission? If I'd gone, this sweet young lady would have been all alone with you. That's far too unsafe. Unsafe? You can't possibly mean me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm gonna gag. Suppose I don't mind people thinking I'm dangerous. Adds to my mysterious charm. It seems we're in Jormgen. You know, that town from the diary on the ghost ship. Wait, this is Jormgen? The town that needed the clear seal crystal to protect itself from monsters? It makes sense. They don't have a barrier here. That must be why they were searching for a way to drive away the monsters. But that was a thousand years ago. Yeah, and I find it strange that they were getting by at all without a barrier. You're right. Aye! What if we were to show this case to one of the locals and I Yes, we might learn something about Pharaoh that way as well. I agree. Yuri's croquettes are the best! How strange! They're just balls of mashed potatoes, but there must be a secret ingredient. Oh yeah? What'd you put in it, Yuri? Love. Ah! <laughs> uh, who are you? <laughs> What'd you do with Yuri? My hearing isn't what it used to be. What'd you say the secret ingredient was? Love. The lady who ran the inn where I lived always said cooking was all about love. I put as much love in them as I could. So eat them with care, okay? Yuri's love-filled croquettes. Ugh. I wish they weren't so good. A secret ingredient is a cook's greatest treasure. You didn't want to tell them, did you? Actually, I didn't put anything special in there at all.
Do you know something about this box? Launchy had it. Where did you get it? On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. Have you heard of it? Of course. You know about the Atherum too? Y yes. We happen to come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would be... Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. Your love. Damn it. Hey, Carol. Your turn. You're hopeless. Oh, I see. Could I ask your name? Oh, my name is Uifon. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Perhaps she's a descendant with the same name? Do you know about the Clear Seal Crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The Sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. I is that what's in the box? Yes, we came to deliver this box to you. I, I see. Hey, is that the key? Could I have the box? Wow, is this the clear seal crystal? Looks like it. It's so sparkly and glittery. A treasure even more beautiful than sea sparkles blooming on the surface of the ocean. So who's that sage you were talking about earlier? The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. A Critian? Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a Blastia. Blastia? Uh, but we can make Blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do. You saw the Blastia at Emid Hill in Kerbakram. But I don't think that Sage guy is the one who made those Blastia with messed up formulas. I... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really understand. But the Sage said that the Clear CL Crystal was needed to create the barrier. So Long Chi set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years, huh? You must be worried. Wait, this sounds weird. Yeah, the stories don't match up. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? How old is she anyway? The same thing could have happened three years ago, or a thousand years ago, probably. They say that history repeats itself, but who really knows? Is that Sage in this town? Oh, yes. He lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the Sage. Yes, maybe so. Um, if you're going there, could you take the Clear CL Crystal to the Sage for me? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go! What was the deal with that weird monster we ran into in the sands of Kogor? Just the thought of it still sends chills down my spine. Was that thing even alive? Huh? What do you mean? Well, it wasn't anything like other creatures that make their home in the desert. Huh. Another astute observation from Captain Carroll. Whatever it was, I hope we never see it again. Me too. Excuse me. Hey, that's... You're... Who exactly? We've run into each other a couple times. You. How have you come to this place? What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... Hmm? No matter. For what reason have you come? We're a little curious about this. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier Blastia, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any Blastia. 
Who would even consider building a barrier blast here with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. So this is an apatheia? That the treasure you've been looking for, old man? Also, I am not the sage. Huh? No such being exists any longer. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock! Oh, man. Just when I found one. The Apatheia bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? It's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Wasn't the clear seal crystal, the Apatheia, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon? Like in the legend? By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a Child of the Full Moon? What is this power the Child of the Full Moon possesses that they despise? That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the child of the full moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait! There's something I want to ask you, too. What were you doing at that Air Crene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Those matters exceed your comprehension. Do not ask of them again. Where do you get off? Rita. Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm, maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Brave Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named Child of the Full Moon. Your brother, Brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there like a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean, like, becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous Emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. 
It's too complicated for you too, old man. Rita can explain it to you later. Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, apatheia, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apatheia myself. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to keel over again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right. See you then. I have nothing left to say to you. <clears throat> Gonna follow him? What's the point? He's not gonna talk to me. So this was a complete waste of time? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Apatheia? When the air crene went berserk, Regay, I mean Jaeger, was carrying this box. This box was what messed up my magic. You think the Apatheia is what's causing the air crene to go out of control? Judging from the evidence, it could be a valid hypothesis. So when the Blastia and Heliord was going out of control, and the Air Crene and Cave Mach too? There may have been. Otherwise, maybe the Apathea has been damaging the whole world's Air Crene little by little. And a large distortion just happened to appear then. I see. It's really nothing more than a guess, but it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. In science, you continually make hypotheses, then test them, and you get closer and closer to the truth. That's how it is. Hmm. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. What are you gonna do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. What do you think? Should we go? That might be best, but would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. All right. This sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Yeah, but even so, I prefer Dongrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. But if we're gonna work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. We could always make someplace new, you know. Someplace new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City. But it's really Altosk City. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Brave Vesperia's own city? Yeah, I like that idea. Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali's city, isn't it? Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongrist, even. Yeah. And Bellius rules the city, too. Nordopolica, hmm. Lear of a city, 
Dutre of a guild? I wonder what sort of person Bellius is. So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all. But I learned about some very important things. The child of the full moon, and the Antilochea. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it... But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. After all this... It's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe... Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the Child of the Full Moon, or the Entilakea, or any of that. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri... Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situations. They're not real life. And I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. If you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. But can you really? Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. Hey, old man. You can feel free to go on ahead to Nordopolica. Hey there, youngin. What? You want to get rid of me so soon? Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all on our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If Brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of Brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. You sure? Anyway, ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave myself. If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? In that case, we'd collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. Oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! Anyway, just as long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. No problem! You're always out walking around, aren't you? Yes, I guess I'm a pretty restless person. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Baul all the time. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. Yes. Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? No. Must be your imagination.
Glad you could make it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's... I'm headed for the Air Crene and the Weasand of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea, too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean, I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is! Bellius? Yeah. Bellius is the Duce of Palastrale, which governs Nordopolica. She's the most important person there. You're friends with someone that amazing, Carol? Huh? Friends? Well, uh... It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantek. And that's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know why the Antilochea hate the child of the full moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's gotta be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... attacked by the Antilochea, correct? E yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Antilochea and the Colosseum? I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Antilochea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, we'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. Uh right. First, let's get back to Mantek. What about Patty? If I remember correctly, there were some people in Nordopolica who didn't think too highly of Patty. I'll be fine, as long as I don't run into any of them. As soon as I'm out in the open sea, everything will be okay. Then, will you come with us? Aye, that I will. Didn't Bellius only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. Can a clear CL crystal really be used to make a barrier? If they could, and we had enough, we'd be able to make as many barriers as we wanted. Then even areas that suffer frequent monster attacks could be assured safety. Yeah, but if it were possible, wouldn't something like that have happened by now? Maybe it's best not to get our hopes up about it then. Ever the realist, I see. All I'm doing is speculating on the most probable outcome. Actually, I think that's what being a realist means. Make good practice. Don't get careless. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. You're telling me? Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Kumor! Easy now. Haste makes waste. Indeed. We need to be cautious here and see what's going on. Hurry, hurry, all aboard! Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? But while we're gone, the children! 
I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. Please, don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you vermin to get aboard. Now get moving this instant! That's just how we were sent into the desert. Why don't they get on board themselves? Because they must know just how dangerous this desert is. Just like what happened to us. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... I don't think it's a good idea to go right now. I'm afraid that idiot isn't gonna listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. What? Yeah, I could do that. Yes, perhaps this will help. How convenient. You guys better bail me out if this goes bad. So you did pick that up? Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. What's he doing? Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kimor, everyone is aboard! Everyone except yourself. What? Those who do their job slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kimor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Now be gone with you. Carol. Don't worry. That young man is very capable. Hmm. this coach <sighs> fix the blasted coach I will find out who's responsible for this I've got to hand it to the little runt you did it <sighs> my heart was pounding like a drum this won't do anything more than buy us some time though I think it's about all we can do at the moment we're still in the middle of our journey after all yeah, Cat and Carol start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't... Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. Using your power to terrorize people... There's not a soul in the lower quarter that evil. You've gone too far this time, Qmor.
Oh, you've returned safe from... Welcome back. Looks like they've still got guards watching him. You must be tired. Please enjoy your stay. That Qmor punk is really a lousy guy. Why are there so many lousy guys in the world? It's probably some kind of disease. It's gotta be the disease they call stupidity. So you do catch on. I bet you're right. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. I don't know, but at this rate, they're gonna send all of the adults in the town out into the desert. And once the adults are gone, it might be the children's turn next. No, that can't happen. If I just spoke to him as a representative of the Imperial family. Are you forgetting what happened in Heliord? Yeah, Stell. He didn't care that you were the princess at all. <sighs> He's not the kind of person who'll reasonably listen to the words of a princess. Whatever happened to the talk of going to Nordopolica? So should we help the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Rita. Don't you want to know what the Antelikea is thinking? If so, you should put this whole business with Qmore out of your mind for the time being. It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Qmor, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. If we can't do anything about him, we should focus on what we actually can do. If only Flynn were here. Flynn? But where is he? I wish I knew. Guess we can't kill two birds with one stone, huh? I'm sorry, Estelle. We don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me, too, to imagine that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now. But... Rita, I understand. Lock up a guy like that, and as soon as he's released, he'll just end up doing the same thing again. Yep, you know what they say. The only cure for stupidity is death. The only cure for stupidity is death. I guess I'll have to play by my own rules. Q more. You're... no! Yuri, it's you! B what are you doing here? Someone! Someone come quick! You would cross swords with a noble? Very well. I accept your challenge. No! How oh, could this? You talk too much, Qmore. The time's come for you to make your exit. Do, do you have any idea the trouble you're in for even pointing that thing at me? <laughs> Wait! I'm not the one to blame. I've just been following orders. I had no choice. Then don't hate me. Hate whoever gave you your orders. Wait, how about this? I could use my authority to pardon all of your crimes. A fresh start. I may even be able to have you reinstated as a knight. I have no shortage of money. With enough money, I'm sure I could satisfy your every wish. Go ahead. Tell me what it is you want. 
There's only one thing I want from you. Then what might that... No, stop! Stay back! Don't come any closer, you beast! I am Kumor, the captain of the Imperial Knights, the man destined to become Commandant! I beg you, spare my life! Please, no! Not like this! I, I, I don't want to go like this! Tell me, how many times have you heard those very words? My people have taken control of things here. The residents of this town won't suffer any longer. That ought to put you one step closer to your next promotion. I'm heading back to the others. Yuri, we need to talk later. I know. I'll be waiting. Who'd have guessed this town could ever be this lively? Yes, it's a great relief to know that people here can live freely again. I'm still in shock that Flynn actually came. That was amazing timing! But q -more might just cause more pain somewhere else. You watch. Flynn will have that guy behind bars in no time. Right, Yuri? Oh, uh, yeah. Yuri? Raven, you're gonna catch a cold. He wore himself out playing with all the children. You'd think he was 12 years old. Welcome back. <laughs> They're still going out there. I can't keep up with them. What happened to Patty? She's still dancing. I really don't get kids. I saw you having a good time, though. You're an awesome dancer, Rita. Shut up. Huh? The old man's asleep already? <laughs> that was quick. Eerie? Just gonna go have a word with Flynn. Why don't you have a seat? You said we needed to talk? Tell me, why did you kill Tumor? You know it's not our place to pass sentence on the crimes of others. He was to be punished in accordance with the laws. And just what laws do you think would have punished him? The same laws that failed to punish Rago? <sighs> Give me a break. Yuri, you... The laws have always been the tools of whoever happens to hold all the chips. Just saying that doesn't make it right for individuals to judge right from wrong, or for you to operate your own private court of law. If the laws are at fault, then fixing those laws comes first. It's for that very reason that I'm still with the Imperial Knights. 
But you can't deny that lives were saved because those bastards were put down. You'd rather tell those people, sorry you have to die today, I promise we'll change things soon. That's not what I'm saying at all. They're out there, you know. People so bad, they'll just go on hurting others. What can the average person do but be victimized by people like that? You know it was the same way with our people in the lower quarter. Even so, Yuri, what you're doing isn't right. Do you intend to rain your justice down on all the villains of the world? That's the behavior of a common criminal. I recognize it for what it is, and I've made my choices. Murder is a crime. And even knowing that, you intend to dirty your hands. Intend to? I already have. So this is the path you've chosen. Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. But it seems you don't yet understand the full weight of your choices. As a knight, I cannot overlook your crimes. Captain, I finally found you! What is it? Our barricade of Nordopolica has been completed. Also, it appears that the hunting blades are on the move. Sir, we must go to Nordopolica quickly. <clears throat> Captain! Understood. Sir! Yuri? I know you better than anyone alive, Yuri. If you insist on walking down the path of a criminal, Wait, repeat! Yuri. So, you heard it all? I'm sorry. Are you afraid of me, Estelle? If you are, you can quit right here. Join Flynn and go back to the castle. I'm not going back. Hey. I haven't sawed logs like that for a good long while. Yeah, it's called oversleeping. We're ready to hit the road, so get that sleep out of your eyes. Hey, old man, your eyes are all droopy. What? That's not good. Jeez. Huh? There are fewer knights than before. Yeah, Flynn and his crew went back to Nordopolica. That must mean they were traveling by night. Was there some emergency they had to deal with? They wanted to eat some fish, so they went back to Nordopolica. Oh, come on, Patty. They're not like you. Maybe they had to take care of the monsters from the Colosseum. I'll bet Paul Estrali requested the help of the knights. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. Hmm? Well, it's just that Flynn said something about a barricade. Barricade? What could that mean? 
Are they out to arrest Bellius for what happened in the Great War? I can't imagine that Polistrale would be outmaneuvered that easily by the Knights. I get the feeling this is gonna get messy. Maybe we should think twice about heading back to Nordopolica for now. But the new moon's almost here. If we miss this chance, who knows when we might meet Bellius again? I can't get on a ship. If I don't get on a ship, I won't be able to find the Maristella or recover my memory. That's all well and good. I'm just not in a hurry to get tangled up with that armor-wearing bunch. Me neither. We'll just have to be careful, like always. No use panicking about it. Don't forget, I want to take a look at the air crene and Kados. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Things are bound to improve here in Mantake, now that Flynn's liberated the town. They did allow the ringleader to escape, though. Kumor? Flynn will catch him in no time, right, Yuri? Hmm. Oh yeah, sure he will. Is something wrong? He looked troubled. Estelle's not her usual perky self, either. Th that's not true. I'm as happy as you all are that Mantake's been freed. If you say so. Going to the Weasand of Kados? Yes, we are. The Imperial Knights have sealed off passage through Kados. It's not just here, they've set up blockades at all of the routes through the mountains. Blockades? Why would they. I don't know all the details, but I heard that it has something to do with some danger in Nordopolica. What should we do? We need to get to Nordopolica before the new moon. I wish I could help, but they wouldn't even let me through, and I have a travel permit. Are you a member of the Fortune's Market? Yes. How'd you get your permit? The Empire issues travel permits to Fortune's Market so that its members can travel wherever they want. At least, that's how it's supposed to be. Right. But the Imperial Knights wouldn't let me go any further. I'm going back to Mantake, since there's no way to get around them. Should we go back to Mantake and chill out too? Hmm. What are we gonna do? Do you think Flynn ordered the blockades? Mm, I couldn't say. Either way, we can't afford to be stuck here for much longer. Yes, it'll be a lot of trouble if we miss the new moon. But I don't think they'd let us through, even if we asked nicely. Well, to be honest, we can go take a look and think about how to get in. What do you mean, once we've gotten inside? They set up blockades to make it hard to get out of the mountains. Getting inside shouldn't be nearly as tough. I think that much is safe to assume. Well then, should we go back to Mantake to do some final preparations? No, we're fine. Let's go like we are. Your friend is quite talented, considering the ease with which he saved Mantake. Who, Flynn? That was nothing for him. You know him really well, don't you, Yuri? Well, we've hung around together since we were kids. You don't hang around together much anymore, though. <sighs> Yuri? The Flynn Brigade? So, that's the blockade? Yeah. Looks like it was Flynn's brigade's doing, after all. But, what are those monsters doing here? Perhaps they've been tamed by the knights? This brigade is reminding me of Flynn less and less. What the hell is Flynn doing with his knights anyway? Hardcore tactics like this? There ain't any doubt in my mind this has something to do with the talk of Bellius engineering the Great War. So how do we get past this checkpoint? Huh? Seriously? Let's do that! What could they be talking about? Old man, do you mind keeping it down? Sorry, sorry. Now that sounds like fun. 
How about this? What the hell? Stop it! Settle down! Let's go now. Hey, hey! Don't leave this old man behind! What the... Come back, you! Yuri Lowell! See ya! Have fun! That was pretty slick, old man. What are you saying? That was all thanks to Patty. Humans work a lot harder when they get rewarded, don't they? Rewarded? What are you talking about? That's our little secret. It's just between us, right, Patty? So annoying. It's our little secret! What is that nonsense? It's probably some useless promise of theirs. Anyway, let's keep moving. Only the Empire has enough power to cut off all the ways in and out of a whole town. Well, the Guild's power is totally different. The Union would never try something like this. It's the Empire's style, crush problems with everything they've got. What are they after? Who do they think they are, sealing off all the roads like this? I think the answer to that lies in Nordopolica. We should hurry before we're caught. Eliminate them! us that was pretty fun hey this is no game seriously now that's what I'm talking about combining Patty's brain with my technique two heads are better than one yeah but they went and sealed off a dangerous place like this just to isolate Nordopolica these guys mean business seriously even bringing monsters to help whatever they're doing it can't be good believe that Flynn would order something like this. Hey! What kind of person is Flynn? He's Yuri's friend. I've heard they've known each other since they were children. Sometimes orders coming down from the top don't make sense. The meaning can get lost going down the chain of command. When a brigade gets big and famous enough, things can start to get out of hand. You certainly know a lot about these things. It makes sense for someone in Altosk. Things can end up like that no matter what the organization. What worries me is how much of a hand Flynn had in all this. 
I'm sure we'll get a good understanding of that as soon as we can get to Nordopolica. That's right. But we should be on our guard. Even though I find it hard to believe that they've conquered Nordopolica by force. Yeah, I think the Palastrale would have a problem with that. Sorry, Rita. You won't get much time to investigate the Air Krenne. Ugh. Oh well. I don't have much choice. It'd be bad if they caught up to us. Exactly. Yuri sure is enthusiastic! He won't say it, but I reckon he's just worried about his friend. Do Flynn and Yuri really have that strong of a bond? Hmm, well, you could call it strong, I guess. Maybe. What? Are you jealous? Hmm. I'll have to hold a strategic meeting to stop Yuri from being snatched away from me. Here, repeat. Have a skewer. <coughs> that looks quite tasty. Boiled eggs are the best part. Nonsense! Daikon is the centerpiece, Patty. Daikon! Hold up now! That's unexpected. Usually you're happy with anything you can chew through, Rita. That's just how good skewers are. But both Rita and the old man are wrong. Where are they mistaken? The true star of skewers is fish cakes. Especially the white ones. <coughs> fish cakes, is it? And repeat agrees. Well, I don't mind as long as it's tasty. Let's eliminate them! Hey, help me out when I'm casting! Okay. We're done. I'm not done yet. Make good practice. Don't get careless. Try it! Like this? A caprice of innocent water. That's what happens when I get serious. Cooking, don't you? I don't know about like. Why? We've been making you cook for us all the time and you haven't refused once. Quiet, Estelle. We don't want him to stop. It's all right. I noticed. You don't mind? Isn't it a lot of work? I used to cook for myself when I was living in the capital. It's not bad at all. It's not bad, but you don't really like it? Well, it was better than having to eat dangerously awful stuff every single day. He meant well, but he didn't realize how bad he was. This was the only way to stop him. You got my condolences, Yuri. Why are you looking at me? Rita's cooking is nothing compared to this stuff, trust me. I'd like to meet someone who could make food like that. It's like looking at a scary monster. I'll pass on the food, though. You already met him. Try not to take too long, okay? Sure. It's completely inactive now. And it was... Is that how the air was controlled? How could... Is that air crene safe now? We'll be in trouble if air shoots out of it like before. It doesn't look like you have to worry about that. So why'd the air suddenly shoot out before? That's what's puzzling me. Maybe it was just a natural phenomenon? The probability of that is low at best. 
If that was the case, it should be emitting air at regular intervals. If air were emitted that frequently, it'd have an effect on the environment. Like how the plants grew so unnaturally in Cave Mock. Looks pretty normal around here to me. So perhaps something else interfered with the air, Crené, and caused it to discharge air? What could do that? Only a formula or blastia could affect air like that. Damn, that would be our fan club. Seems like these knights are just as dedicated as the captain himself. Rita, let's go. Are you done looking at the air, Crenny? Just let me think a little more. If you just need time to think, you'll have plenty of time once we've gotten out of here. Mmm, all right, all right. If the air crinny was disturbed by... Did you figure anything out? It's still too early to say. I've got some leads, but it's nothing I can be sure of yet. Well, make sure and let us know when you've nailed it down. I will. All right, let's head out. And it'll probably involve you. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Dragon! Oh, nice moves. Let's go. So what was that deal you were talking about? A deal? What sort of deal? With who? You said something about a deal with the old man when we were in Kados. I... Don't tell me you forgot. Uh, no. I haven't forgotten. She forgot. So it's a secret, is it? I'll tell you, Yuri, since I can trust you. I appreciate it. If he works hard here, I'll teach him Judy's measurements. You really know how his mind works, don't you? It's not exactly a mystery. Hmm? What's up? Shouldn't we be hurrying along? Hey, you're not as young as you used to be. Let's take it easy. Seconded! W -w what do you mean? Don't hurt us now! Let's go! them in no time!
Take cover. Huh. Guess it's only natural they're guarding this end, too. Patty, do you have any ideas for getting through? Hmm. Raven, can you do something like you did before? Best not to press your luck when the Knights are taking their work so seriously. They don't look that serious from here. I say, woe is me! How has our illustrious Schwan Brigade ever been reduced to playing backup for Flynn? Enough complaining. If you don't like it, we better produce some results. There they are! Capture them! They found us! What is this? You three, don't let him escape! Ah, uh, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell! Hey, LeBlanc, it's been a while. Uh, and your highness! What are we gonna do? Oh well, here goes nothing. Wait! Attention! Y yes sir! Not sure what's going on, but now's our chance. Huh? Whoa! Raven, what did you do? Ah, it's nothing. Enough standing around. They'll catch up in no time if we don't get moving. We can't miss this chance. Yeah, let's head for Nordopolica, quick. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky! Who's oh, next? Luna, 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 I'm just getting started. We'll destroy them in no time! Dragon Sword! Press the move! That's enough! Dragon Sword! 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 We're done. Not as many nights as I'd have guessed. Yeah, security looks normal even with all the commotion after the tournament. It did sound like they had their hands full with the monsters that managed to escape. Yeah, but it's too quiet. Especially compared to the checkpoints back at Kados. I think Raven's got it right. The knights are up to something, and I don't like it. But it looks like we can stay in town as long as we don't stand out. So we'll meet with Belius on the evening of the new moon which happens to be tonight. Let's stop by the inn to freshen up and then go see about me. I'm finally gonna be able to get rid of the Don's letter. Patty, what are you doing hiding over there? Don't you remember? A lot of things happened the last time she was here. Come on out. It'll be okay. Is it all right for me to be with you guys for just a little longer? Huh? Um, sure. We don't mind, do we? Right. But it'd probably be best if we stuck together until we left town. 
I have a feeling that even if we parted ways here, we'd still end up meeting again real soon. So basically, there's no difference between us being together or not. I really don't get that logic. I'm sure you're all heading in the direction of the Maristella. Yeah, I don't get that either. In other words, um... In other words, you want to come with us, right? Rather than traveling by myself, traveling with you guys is more profitable. If you want to come, then come. At this point, I really don't mind an extra travel companion or two. That's the spirit! Hmm. I wonder if Flynn's already here somewhere. Do you think? When we finish up all our business here, I've got a few things I want to ask that guy. When you do, take me with you.